Sony Xperia XZ3 The Sony Xperia XZ3 is the best camera phone from the Japanese firm to date, with its single 19 megapixel rear snapper proving a powerful photography option. The user interface has been streamlined for starters, so there's less swiping to get to the various modes and frequently accessed settings are always shown on the screen, so there's minimal fiddling around when prepping your shot. And a nice amount of background blur can be achieved without calling on any bokeh modes. Where the Xperia XZ3 camera excels though is video. The digital stabilization works well in good light in particular, and the 4K HDR footage you can capture is simply breathtaking. Sony is also still the only manufacturer whose phone cameras are able to capture 960 FPS full HD slow motion, with the competition capping out at 720p. It's totally unusable in medium to low light, but it's a nice feature to have when you're outdoors on a sunny day. Huawei P20 Pro The Huawei P20 Pro offers up one of the best camera phone experiences on the market. It may have been superseded by the newer Mate 20 Pro, but taking nothing away from the P20 Pro, this is still a top camera phone. Its party piece is the triple camera setup on its rear. The three cameras have a combined megapixel count of a staggering 68 megapixels. Chuck the 24 megapixel front facing camera into the mix as well and the phone has a total count of 92 megapixels. When it comes down to how the camera works, megapixels only get you so far. The good news here is that the Huawei P20 Pro backs up its megapixel count with a strong suit of camera features to give you even better shots. The main 40 megapixel camera is backed up by a 20 megapixel black and white sensor that helps with image processing, including decreasing noise and improving dynamic range, although as default the P20 Pro shoots at 10 megapixels. The third rear camera has a 3x zoom lens and an 8 megapixel sensor, letting you zoom in to a scene without using digital zoom, which means there's very little decrease in image quality when used. Galaxy S10 Plus the addition of a third camera to the back of Samsung's Galaxy S10 Plus definitely produces better shots than this phone's predecessors. You will be particularly impressed with how the ultra-wide 16 megapixel camera on the back of the S10 Plus can pull back to offer more captivating detailed views. The other two lenses, a 12 megapixel dual pixel main camera and 12 megapixel telephoto shooter yield solid results too, aided by a dedicated neural processing unit that can fine tune the camera's settings. Samsung improved portrait shots too, with live focus effects that let you easily blur and change colors of the shot's background. OnePlus 7 Pro The OnePlus 7 Pro takes solid photos for hundreds less than flagships of the same size and specs. It isn't great in low light, but in every other situation the main camera takes consistently solid photos and does so super quickly with a clean camera interface. The drawback, compared to the competition, is the telephoto and wide-angle lenses don't add much to the experience, and the selfie shooter is a step down. Sony Xperia 1 The Sony Xperia 1 is the only choice for video pros and cinema buffs who want to get manual with their smartphone videography. It's able to shoot footage at up to 21 to 9 for cinema-style capture, offers full manual control and features a beautifully flat color profile, perfect for post-processing in Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. Thankfully, almost everything else about this phone is excellent too, with a striking 21 to 9 4K HDR screen, a clean UI and a snappy chipset ensuring plenty of power under the hood. It isn't perfect, the 3030 milliamp hour battery could be bigger and there's no wireless charging, but if you can deal with those niggles and want the ultimate cinema experience, both from a content creation and consumption point of view, the Xperia 1 is it.